is a speed <laughs> round of personal <laughs> questions. Speed round. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's your middle name? Manuel. Ooh, where'd you get that? Uh, my great grandfather came from Spain, is what I know, and then migrated to Mexico City. And then I believe when my grandfather was five, they came from Mexico City to Texas. And then my mom's French Canadian. I like it. So, what are you? French Canadian and Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> People would call me white. <laughs> Where were you born? I was born in San Diego. <laughs> How long have you been married? 11 years, together 13. How many kids? Five. Names and ages? Madison, 16. Cameron, 12. Caleb, 10. Lillian, 3. Charlotte, 1. I got one boy, and they're all halves. We got birthdays coming up. Charlotte's <laughs> turning 2 in December. Caleb's February. Madison and uh, Lillian are March, and Cameron's April. Jeez. <laughs> been a busy guy. Are you going to have more? I hope My so. My wife says no. Oh, I wish you'd have more. If I could do anything over, I'd have more. Like eight, nine. You know, I think like seven's that. a good number. I really like the number seven. Completion. I wouldn't mind... Listen, my wife works her tail off, so she has to approve anything I say. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I mean, I if I could really make a good life for myself and make enough money, I'd like to adopt two kids. Like, just Ooh. take them out of a real bad situation. Like, a brother or sister or two siblings or Love take it. them out of something bad and put them into something good. But I, I don't have enough yet to be able to do that we'll the right there. way. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. We will. Yeah. Um, how did you meet your wife? <laughs> The long story or the short story? The short one, because we don't have a lot of time. So uh, <laughs> I was living at my house in Escondido. I was in the process of getting divorced, and my buddy came over on Mother's Day, said, let's go out and drink. I was drink I don't drink anymore, but I was okay. drinking. And uh, I didn't know my wife, Jessica. I knew her roommate, who was also named Jessica, and I didn't know my wife was named Jessica. So my buddy Brandon comes over. The lights were on, and I said, Brandon, if those lights are on when we come home, I'm going over and knocking on the door. So we came home, the lights were on, it was sprinkling. Uh, the girl whom I kind of knew, her window was down, so I went and knocked on the door. My wife answered, and I said, hey, your uh, Jessica has her windows down. She goes, well, I'm Jessica. I'm like, well, that's not your truck. And then we started talking, and then I coerced her to come over to my house. It was a long battle. <laughs> she said, no, I'm not coming over. I'm in my pajamas. I said, well, if I go get my pajamas on, will you come over? <laughs> so I, I went home, put on some like sweatpants and a shirt, and I came back over, and I'm like, all right, I got my pajamas on. I'm like... Did you just spray on perfume? Oh, so yeah, she, she did. So then she said, well, I'm still not coming over. <laughs> and she, there was, we had this HOA lady, Roxanne, that was kind of nuts. And she goes, if you go get me a rose from Roxanne's house. So I went home, got scissors, went to Roxanne's house, cut a rose, came back. Got Jessica to come over. She maybe hung out for an hour or two, wouldn't stay, left. And then I started chasing her. <laughs> <laughs> chasing that rabbit. Chasing the rabbit. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. And we've caught the rabbit a few times. Yeah. She's an awesome, <laughs> I, I couldn't have asked for a better wife. So what rabbits do. she put up with a lot of my <laughs> nonsense for many, many years and stuck with me. And hopefully now I give her many, many happy years. Did you do lots of nonsense? I was a, yes, I was a troublemaker. <laughs> did you learn from it? Yes. Do you love troublemakers now? I don't know. What kind of troublemaker? No, I'd probably say, I don't know. It depends. I, I, I think I was innocent trouble like i wasn't stealing and robbing things yeah um but a lot of the things that i did as a kid with cameras and cell phones now i couldn't have done oh what are we talking about <laughs> <laughs> anything i mean think about all the things that you can't do yeah. uh, favorite color blue um favorite car mm. i'm gonna say my mustang or a mustang i think mustang Tell me about the motor of the Mustang. It's got a lot of power. <laughs> is it legal? Yes. Of course it is. How fast can she go? In other states, it's legal. <laughs> <laughs> Smog-wise. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I haven't gone full top speed in the car yet. Um, it's very, very fast. It's got 1,100 horsepower, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty fast. I'm, I'm still getting used to the car, if I can really be honest. So yeah. it, 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 I just dropped it off in Vegas for the last seven months. I just got it back about a week and a half ago. I got a bunch of interior work done. And we turned up the power. And so I'm just, I'm getting used to the car again. It's beautiful. Is it? And I'm scared of it. And I used to like to go fast. So I'm not surprised he has a fast car because he kind of goes fast. It's like moving forward fast. I don't leave anything alone. The car is beautiful. You can eat off the engine. It's absolutely dynamic. It starts up and you just go, yes. <laughs> and then beautiful. I, and then I read things on like the patch. And somebody was talking about Murrieta traffic, and then somebody's like, yeah, and all these cars, and these Mustangs are the loudest. And I'm always <laughs> looking, did somebody say Blue Mustang? No, they didn't. All right. 
I'm saying. I don't want to be. I listen. I I don't want to be the guy that annoys the neighbors. My car is loud, and I don't want to be that guy. And, and I drive a little fast sometimes, but I don't drive fast if there's people around. I don't drive yeah. fast on street roads. Yeah. The car's loud, and yeah. so it sounds like I'm probably hauling ass everywhere. Um, but I don't want to be the guy that nobody likes. But yeah, look. The car keeps me out of trouble as much as that makes sense. Like I could either be out partying and doing stupid things or I could just drive a fast car. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's my trouble. That's that's the little bit of trouble that I get into is that car. What's your favorite food? I've been on a Mexican food kick for a while, so I'm just going to say Mexican. Favorite thing to do with the kids? You know what? I, I, I like to do anything with them. My joy comes from watching them be happy and smile. So Aww. anything that they like to do, I know that they probably like the most, Disneyland, the beach, and the river. Aw, I love that. Well, then I, like for birthdays, I don't ever want anything, you know? Like uh, I think one birthday I went out and bought the kids stuff. And <laughs> it's like <laughs> my joy comes from them, you know? Just they're kids. Yeah. If you could give one piece of advice to a brand